Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Andrea Jackson. So you have an idea for a product, but you're not sure how to get it on store shelves. Maybe you're worried someone else will beat you to it, or worse, AI could take credit. Showing us the way is Robert Kay. He is the founder of Elite Engineering. Robert, welcome to Daily Flash. Thank you, Andrea. It's great to be here. So what's the best way to take an idea, turn it into something, and then bring it to market? Ah, the very first thing is if you're the inventor, you have to recognize that you're going to make a transition from being an inventor to being a business person. And as soon as you do that, you need to recognize that over 44% of all startups fail due to lack of funds. So you've got to go out and raise enough money or have enough money in order to push things through. And what inventors often don't recognize is that the number one priority you'll have once you get started is actually marketing. You have to make sure you understand who your customers are and what their pain points are and why they would want to buy your product. Then you have to figure out what the cost is going to take to get your early prototypes. And very often this is where people fall down because they figure they could sell something for $1.98 the problem is it's going to take about a hundred times that cost to get your early prototypes out to capture your early adopters. Then you want to protect your idea. If you're going to go for a patent here in the United States, you should plan on at least 25 grand for your first wow. patent. And that's, that doesn't even include if you're trying to go internationally, which could push those costs well over a hundred grand. So planning for those kinds of expenses and raising that kind of money is probably one of the most important things you'll do. Yeah, and, and although the I'm sorry, and, spend, uh, and spending that money on a, a patent doesn't guarantee that you'll get it, which you know that's a huge investment in and of itself. That is correct, and this is where a lot of people fall down as well. They go for somebody who knows how to write a patent. What you really want is somebody who can write a patent and help you with the patent strategy. It's very important that whoever writes the patent understands what your business plan is. This is another area that inventors typically fall down is because they don't recognize the importance of having a business plan. What impact does AI have on this process now? From my perspective, it's a great tool. It's not something to be afraid of. It's just like when calculators came out, it allowed engineers to do things that took a long time before. So we use AI for helping us figure out strategies, what things are trending in the marketplace. So if you think of it as a tool, a new inventor can use this as a way to do market exploration in a way that you couldn't do it in the past. You have access to something that's actually very smart in that regard or very knowledgeable at the least. Robert, when should you start working on getting and raising capital for your project? And, you know, I guess we should mention here, you know, sometimes you're the idea person, but not necessarily the business person. That's exactly right. And, and I will tell you, everybody that I know who has gone out to fundraise, myself including, will tell you it is the single most difficult thing you will do. It is harder to do than to understand quantum mechanics. Wow. So the sooner you start it, the better. And so we always tell people, you were supposed to start yesterday, not today. Gotcha, Robert. Thank you so much. For more information on how to take your idea to market, check out the dailyflashshow.com website.